Now, the question you all have to an answer with analytics, because we're drowning in analytics. Hmm. And the question you got to ask every time is, what is the outcome? Why are you getting this, these data? Why? Why are we chasing this one? And you've got to be able to show outcomes, because otherwise you'll drown in this field of data, and it's fashionable. It's very fashionable. Say, big data. Mm -hmm. Oh, isn't that exciting? Big data. <laughs> big data only matters if there's an outcome that you can act upon. And you, as leaders, have got to challenge the people in your organization. What are we trying to prove here with this? What is the outcome we're going to bring to the organization to change the game? And that's where, where we're at. You know, we got MECAT, we got uh, Periscope, we got all mm -hmm. these tools now mm -hmm. to, to communicate so much more effectively to all our stakeholders, customers, share owners, most importantly, employees. Are we, use, are we enamored with the technology and the data, or do we have an outcome in mind that we're really chasing? Mm -hmm. So we used to sit together in a couple of GE meetings, and uh, so did Jeff. And actually, there's a lot of GE uh, communications alumni uh, in the, off, in the uh, room today. But we would sit, and there would be tremendous amounts of data uh, coming in from uh, your BD team from your finance team. Uh, the data was not coming in from comms. So how now do you look at that in terms of saying, I know it's outcome driven, but how, how do you even get the voice at the table to start talking about data analytics? You had four people up here. One, I think, right? Facebook has the data analytics team. The, one has a couple, one maybe one, and the other one not yet, but wants them. We're not, we're not there yet, the same way BD would be, or legal or finance, and why, why is that? That is budget, that is resources, but it's also the CEO saying, I need that information, isn't it? Well, it's also, though, a CCO who will demonstrate the value it, and, and will not be just the fireman or the firewoman, that, mm -hmm. that will demonstrate the value. I mean, if, you, if, if I were the CEO and I heard that pitch from MasterCard today, I'd be all you over there, but... Right. I'd want to see them more often. I'd right. want to talk to them more often. I'd want to, I'd want to hang out with them. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I'd want to know a hell of a lot more. And, and I think that's how it happens. Right. It doesn't happen or organizationally or boxes on the chart. It happens with the intellect that's driving it. You go where the, the intellect is. Who's going to make you smarter? And that's the game. I mean, every CCO here can either put out the fire or make the team smarter. Mm -hmm. And those are two different jobs. And the old one is putting out the fire, and the new one is making that CEO or any staff member so much smarter that they can't afford not to hang out with you. They can't afford not to give you more resources. You wrote a book called Straight from the Gut. That sort of goes against data, doesn't it? Is that, uh, wh where do you balance well, I, the emotional I, intuition and knowledge of a, a CEO versus data that's staring you in the face saying something different? Well, I think, you know, gut is only pattern recognition. It's data you've accumulated over a number of years that allows you to make a call. If you go to a, uh, a city and you see cranes everywhere with buildings with high rises going up everywhere and somebody comes in and gives you a pitch to build condominiums you might not jump at the deal you might want to wait and look a little bit uh, so it's just seeing things through historical patterns that'll that allow you to behave i still think it's a you like as much data as you can get and you mm -hmm. One of you, you, you use your gut. The one thing about gut that you can't do, when you use your gut, you got to go with it. You can't then sit back and be a critic and say, I knew that shirt and they never should have done that. I, I see CEOs doing that all the time, pointing down the hall, oh, I knew it was n n never going to work. Then why the hell did you do it? You got to own it. You got to own it. Mm -hmm. Gut, you got to own.